<laughs> but, but the, fish, the fisheries minister has said this weekend that after Brexit, we will control access to our waters up to 200 nautical miles no, that's offshore. Not, that's not the words. The words are they will control the historic sovereign waters, uh, which are, if you look into it, a 12 mile. They are not 200 miles. The 200 well, George Euston said 200 miles. The 200 mile economic zone came in, the international law came in in 83 when we were already in the CFP. What they are talking about is 12 mile. So they're already backpedalling on this. She's also said that she will negotiate with other countries on vessels coming into our waters. Now that means to me she's going to negotiate with Brussels. That means foreign vessels will still fish our waters. She hasn't repealed the 64 London Act, which means, again, foreign vessels will fish our waters. Do you want to clarify this, Joe Gideon, because there's some um, ambiguity about the fishing proposals announced in the Tory manifesto. Well, I do want to clarify it, but I think that the, the key thing um, that I would dif differ with, Mike, is, is in talking about the fishing industry in Grimsby. Um, currently, as many fish go through Grimsby, as did when we were the, uh, the world's largest fleet of trawlers, um, but they're, they're in the fish processing, not in the fish catching. And I think we have to be very careful looking to the future, that the future is in fish processing. So now, you're fish saying processing, the fishing industry so, has no future in terms of, in terms of trawlers? Uh, what I'm saying is the fishing industry, uh, as, as it exists now and as it's likely to exist in the future, is about um, processing fish from Iceland, from Norway. And so... Um, this, this is our waters, our fish, our jobs. If you speak to the fishermen <laughs> up and down the country, like I, I do, I was in the North East on Friday, there was a, a guy there, he's having to buy, he's having to rent fish. So he's having to rent a box of fish that was £60, yeah. that's what you rent it for. I said, well, how much will you sell that fish for? He said, £60. He said, I got to see, some days I don't make a penny. I've got to pay my, my crew, I've got to pay my diesel. This is wrong. This is our waters. We want it back. It should be a non-negotiable. Our waters, our but, fish, Mike, what would you do when jobs? you get it back? Because it will because take at least you, ten years to build up... Well, you've already and you're said never going the, to build the processes are there. So the process is there. There's a lot of investment needed. But the process is, is process, process a huge amount of fish from other countries outside the European Union. You know, we, we, are, we are Europe's we, food and, town. And we can still do that. We will process it. It will come into our port, our processes. We will process that and we will export So where, where would you say the fish would come from that comes into our port? The, the our slanted. waters that surround our seas. We are talking about yeah, the 10 to 15 minute meter them? vessels. We're not talking the deep sea fleet. That's, that's a bilateral agreement in, uh, in the future with Iceland, Norway, Denmark. We're talking 10 to 15 meter vessels. Grimsby was the biggest port right. in the country. Was. We have I mean, that's six, the key thing. We have was. six vessels yes. now. Six vessels that are struggling to make a living. You can't turn let the clock back. Yes, let me bring in Melanie on. We can have a, a viable fishing industry again.